I am Ra. It is an honor and a privilege to greet you this day in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Resonant raindrops of liquid light cascading down in a panoply of shapes and colors unbeknownst to the conscious mind. The world of energy that you dance through may be invisible to your physical eyes of the flesh, but to the inner eye of soul there are tides and currents of change and transformation that ripple through the collective consciousness of Earth, much like a hot air balloon rises through layers of the atmosphere, some warmer and some colder. As you go on this sacred journey into yourself, through these places in time, you experience more than just a reunion with aspects of yourself long ago distanced. You have the opportunity to experience directly other areas of the Earth's grid, wherein there are unique vortices of cosmic influx, bespeaking of a variety of cultures and heritages, both past and present and future. This time on the planet is one of spontaneous regeneration of many forgotten truths and teachings. It is a time in which the future and the past begin melding together as one. For the science of the ancient civilizations, those who had gone before, is again becoming renewed clearer and clearer to the minds of those who awaken on the brink of a new dawning for humanity. For this time, this place, is not one of failure. It is not one in which you look at the weather changes, and the political changes, and the economic changes, and the social changes, with a scorning eye of disdain, but rather one of hopefulness, optimism, peace, and truth in the knowingness of the longevity of the human soul which cannot be defiled, cannot be divided, will always and ever remain a point of power that uniquely situates you in the present moment if you but allow it to pour forth from that everlasting cornucopia of oneness that seems to be shrouded in mystery for the short time that you remain encased in flesh. There is a life beyond this life in which the limbs of the tree of knowledge stretch forth into the heavens, and once more you intermingle with the clouds themselves and become one with the resonant goodness of this creation in all of its many multiplicities of form and contrast. Yours is an awakening world, and with the awakening comes the pangs of remembrance, of long ages since forgotten, in which there was a greater connection to others and to your own higher self. Much as the body of the tropical fish slices through the waters without ever thinking that the waters even exist, so too do you move through the world of spirit and rarely, if ever, notice that in fact this energy of consciousness is not a philosophical abstraction constrained within the boundaries of unwieldy mathematical equations from physicists whose musings are far from a conceptual model that others can actually understand. This is a living science. It is a science that allows your consciousness to centralize to a point of stillness and peace and equilibrium within yourself. It is a science of consciousness that brings out the noblest qualities in your character. For as you learn to find your car keys, you realize that it's not so difficult getting a parking spot as much as it is 
taking the initiative to get back into that vehicle that moves forward, to go boldly where no one has gone before, and to find the new frontier, to seek beyond limitations imposed by your day-to-day -day life, by the constraints of working in a box, living in a box, being entertained by a colored glass box, and eating out of a box. The box breaks down, and rolling fields and verdant green emerald forests rise into view with the splendor of a million suns that have nourished them. Patterns of twinkling light in the night sky, for you are a cosmic being, not alone in this creation, in this cosmos. There is so much company all around you, and it is certainly worth your while to remember that fact. You have this galaxy, which is a loose arrangement of all the stars that you see in your solar system, and in other solar systems just like it. And that galaxy is but one pinprick in an unbelievable multitude of others like it. Each galaxy is in and of itself a creator in its own right, capable of setting forth a series of templates, archetypes, by which soul evolution will be determined. Each soul goes through these archetypal patterns of enlightenment and development. And by learning those archetypes, as expressed in the 22 cards of the major arcana of the Tarot deck, you learn about all of the classic experiences that will come your way from one moment to the next, and find out that some kitties don't need a scratching post in order to make sure that their claws are sharp. Some animals have the capability to go into the wild, to their natural habitat, no longer feeling in captivity by the fact that you have a physical body, no longer needing to sharpen your claws on television and other mundane forms of entertainment. You can still bring that body of yours outside the box, go somewhere new and exciting. Experience the energies of a foreign land. Meet the people, shake their hands, smell their skin, look into their eyes, and feel something. Feel that connection, feel that bond, and feel the trust that can arise. You can go on this journey in your own mind, and you can travel there in the physical if you desire. And as the horn blows, signifying the trumpets of revelation, the revelation of all that has remained hidden, as the seals are opened, and as the gateway to the entrance to fourth density is made plain, 